Hey everyone, welcome back to Draki Cup number 14. Continuing coverage of the group stage, we move to group D for this match between Coercer and Void Warrior. And it looks like for game one, the map is going to be Firebase Cruel, picked by Void Warrior, and it's going to be a KVG. Very fun, very fun. Now I'm trying to remember the standings on group D. I'm pretty sure uh, if Void Warrior can 2-0 here, he's got a chance to actually beat No Fun in the group, which is very, very surprising. But I, I can't exactly remember. I'd have to look at the score, which if I look at it now, you know, the results of this match will be on there, so I don't want to do that. So we'll take a look at it after this game, I suppose. After this match, that is. But Void Warrior's been looking pretty darn good. He's improved by leaps and bounds from previous tournaments, and now uh, he looks to... Take a 2-0 against Coercer, who's not been doing too well so far. But we'll see if perhaps he has some preparation here. He might be able to pull out a win against Void Warrior. I see Void Warrior still hasn't learned the secrets of the Eco Rally Point, so he's gonna have to do that manually. <laughs> you know, if you set a rally onto resources, then they'll just go straight there if they're a salvager. But... There's an annoying bug where if you have a rally point onto a wreck, and then the wreck is open, uh, then base runners will go to the wreck rally point after the wreck is killed. I don't know why, but it's just D okay. <laughs> but this definitely seems like it'll be some early aggro. Ref uh, Fleet Cap 45 coming out for uh, Void Warrior, no signs of refiner mode at all. Hmm. Well, he's he's probably right about that. <laughs> I never really bother to, like, do the small amounts of work that make the big amounts of work, uh, fruitful, you know? He's got a point there. Looks like for Corsair, a Soul Chip tech is on the way here. Uh, but he's got Sandskimmer tech. I think it'd be good for him to start building. He may be Fleet Cap, though. And if that's the case, you know, you should definitely get 45, but... Oh yeah, I just never finished that, did I? What mission am I on? I can't even remember. That'd be an easy thing to just hammer out, wouldn't it? Uh, Void Warrior really wants to fight this PC, but I don't think you're ever gonna kill this. It's best to just go for the salvages for now. But Coercer still really does not want to build any skins, so... Yeah, as a result, he's gonna lose all of these units for sure. And this extraction is definitely kind of, uh, foregone, right? So... Rift Mode starting for Coercer, though. are gonna go down here. And that's a lot of salvager kills. If you check the units lost tab, that's all it is. Three of them. Ouch. Like, look how expensive salvagers are for Galaxy and Conf. Like, you know, you really don't want to take that kind of losses. It's not good. It's not good. But, uh, we do have another, or sorry, we have uh, assault ships coming out here, so Railgun Tech is on the way for Void Warrior. But when he finishes this, um, there should be already some of the out on the field, and he can perhaps push, uh, push his opponent off here. Extraction begins. And it looks like uh, Voidware is not interested in trying to stop this. When you're rushing your opponent, it's pretty nice to be able to take out um, his extraction, but... Actually, he's going ref mode though, so I guess he wants to go back to the bases. He's got the money for a heavy railgun if he wants it. One thing you could do, potentially, is like leave one PC here and then you have like... Uh, you have ref mode, right? So you can leave the other one up in the front line and keep the rail rush going, but you do have like two base eco. But... I can't believe I signed up for salvage. Who's that? Who's that? Murph's law. Oh. Not Murphy's law. This must be, like, from Interstellar, right? Yeah, Void Warrior hasn't started any railguns yet. He don't need no railguns. 
It's a nice scanner placement. That's the ultimate power move, to mine from your opponent's third base. We all know it. Uh-oh, I need to be careful here, though. Soul chips don't take no prisoners. They don't have any armor, though, so uh, they do have to be a little bit careful about not dying. Another artifact picked up here. But, you know, the skims really can stop this. Yeah, I think he should. Yeah, he's gonna head over there now. <laughs> Drive your carrier to his third. Yeah, and then you can just missile him to death, right? <laughs> That's the way to go. Power move. Oh no, the PC is stuck. This just happens, you know. Do you okay? <laughs> you have to like move it backwards a bit and then it'll get out, so. Oh gosh. <laughs> it, might, it might take a while to notice though. There we go. <laughs> exactly the most fleshed out game, is it? But that's okay, that's okay. So we're passing the six minute mark. Nobody's dead. That's a good sign. Uh, <laughs> but Woodward's gonna be on three base in just a moment here. Has some rails coming out. It's interceptors for Corsair though, so that can always change things a bit. We saw Voidware do fine against the air when he was facing uh, no fun, so... He's certainly never- nah, not ever... how do I say? He's certainly seen this before. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that'd be ridiculous, can you imagine that? Skimmer goes down to the assault ships here. But if you can just keep one guy scouting, then yeah, this heavy railgun will keep you safe pretty much forever. High ground too. Pretty good. Oh, what's going on on this side? This railgun here is going to be in a little bit of danger. And yeah, these two assault ships should. What the heck? That was weird. I don't know. I guess he felt intimidated. <laughs> that's that's hard to explain. <laughs> He saw three base, he was like, I'm washed. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> that was a bit strange. Well, let's jump into game two, shall we? <laughs> Does anyone have any insight on this? Like, why did that happen? <laughs> it's College Chief, by the way. This time, this is going to be a uh, coercer's pick. But the factions stay the same. Yeah, he's played enough games against Arik to know how that goes. Yeah, I, I don't know. That doesn't make sense to me. That was a very strange timing to GG out. Like, he finished the Interceptor tech, he was building some, he's like ready to go blow up some railguns. No, I'm done, man. <laughs> I don't know. It's inscrutable. But yeah, you want to hurt your eco by doing this, really, but uh, it doesn't really help at all, so there's not, that's not too much point. You can see here they have to move to drop off, but next time they probably won't, so it's not really going to cause much of a negative impact on the eco, but yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't speed anything up at all. <laughs> yeah, she wants to gather them under her wings like a chicken meal. Come here, come here, my chicks. Where you will be safe. Skimmer fed for Corsair again, although it's pretty it's pretty late. Do that now! Well yeah, that's like the, the salvaging apparatus, you know. I don't know what this thing's for. Something, something nefarious, I'm sure. You know these Conf, you can't trust them. There's a lot of skims for Corsair. Yeah, 
<laughs> it's true, in campaign they pick up artifacts, but... Here comes the army for Void Warrior, though. We'll make first contact here. And he's generally one out pretty big here because Corsair won't build any skims, but this time he is. Skim takes quite a bit of damage to the carrier, which does have power 1, though. He prophylactic. But, I mean, he might be glad he's got it. Here he can pick up the artifact as well. <laughs> Well, no, it goes uh, up its butt. See, that's where it goes. Just don't think about it too much. Anyway, it's gonna be ref mode for Void Warrior once again. And look, he's in prime position to mine off his opponent's third, I'm just saying, so. But he's got the money for a tech choice here. I'd like to see it. I like to see players get aggressive like that. No, just gonna be a second PC. That's true, though. Well, uh, no, they do, actually. It just it can open and close. It's just how coalition things are. Like, the Gaussian carrier is always open on the back, but the coalition one opens when a unit is building. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, ref mode gonna finish here. Railgun fab done as well. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, maybe this guy, like, picked up the CUs, but he had to evacuate, but I don't know. Yeah, it's gonna be Railguns versus Silk Chips again. We saw this last time. On this map, though, I would actually recommend really going Con F Siege if you're playing Con F. Just because it's so freaking good on this map. It's ridiculous. I mean, Siege is always nice to barrage over the hills, but you're also basically like an AC, and this terrain is just so good for it. It's like this map was made for Con F Siege. Second PC finishes. And Corsair still hasn't even started ref mode. He's gonna go straight to one base siege. Okay. Bold choice. Bold choice. We've seen a lot of games recently where someone's on one base, they get attacked, and then they just can't build them. Because, you know, they, they're just getting, like, killed or something. But... My boy! <laughs> uh oh. We got a bit of an awkward carrier block going on here, but it looks like they'll be able to sort it out. Sometimes these things become perpetual, like the thing will just get kicked all the way over here before you realize it. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, like, Siege is just good against Rails, it is, but you have to, you know, have an army behind it, so... <laughs> That's why one base Siege doesn't usually work, but... We'll see, like, maybe he can make it work. These Soul Chips protect you against the Railguns, and then you can... Oh, nice, we see. Kinda didn't catch that on frame. Yeah, it's, it's, it's tough to fight that, I think, it really is. Also, this would be nice for Void Warrior to, uh, power down the uh, missiles and power up the weapons here, but... No, I get that hit either. You can maybe try with the depth packs. Just gonna queue up a couple skins though, that should keep him safe. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. Yeah, I'd sort of like that. That'd be funny. This skin has a spot of high ground, so it should actually trade one for one. My thoughts on cruisers, though, with buffs, should be that they should gain, like, tankiness, really, so... But I don't know, we'll, we'll look into it. Artifact goes out, and that's the second one for coursers, so this carrier is pretty powered, actually. That's not going to help too much until you can get unlocked. I mean, rift mode is really pretty important here. Again, should ward off the assaulted crew. 
And last game, that was just GG when this happened, so, uh, you know. <laughs> I will say, it's even worse than last time, though, because now he doesn't have ref bud as an opponent, uh, and his opponent is on 3 base. There's even a bit of eco uh, problems on the main here. Looks like he's gonna fix it. Space burner will fall. But actually, that gives Corsair a window to get up into his opponent's base here. So that's pretty nice. Maybe, I mean, this will probably be some salvager kills at least, but he can also pick up this heavy relic, which is fine. It'll take this one out. Heavy rails are expensive, so that's actually a big loss. Kill the skim too. See, maybe you can get some uh, salvagers as well, but eventually you have to make himself scarce. I think that um, raiding is done on his opponent though, and not on him, so he can't actually run away here, which is a bit rough. Yeah, so actually all these sandstormers will fall. You know, the thing is, like, if you're behind this far, where, like, your opponent has three base and you've got one, I think actually trading well is still trading badly, do you know what I mean? So, that's a bit unfortunate. But the Siege Cruiser is done, so hey, we do have one base Siege. That's pretty cool. And yeah, that'd be funny. There's an extra salvage here. Well, I could bring this back to the main base. <laughs> yeah, is this turtling, you mean? <laughs> Vordir is probably like, well, uh, there's nothing here. But, but like, still, this is so late for Refbo. This is like 10 minutes in now. This is like what you do when you're rail rushing, where you just don't get Refbo ever, you know? This doesn't, this doesn't feel great. No, he doesn't have Refbo. Yeah. So that, that's why I keep saying one base. It really is. I, I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> Voidware is upgrading the sand skimmers as well with damage too, which is pretty nice. These, uh... These assault ships still haven't even gotten armor one. Not like it'll help them against railguns, you know, but uh, it'll definitely do a lot against the sand skimmers, so. This is a bit funny. This is not usually how you want to use heavy railguns, but if you've got this many of them, you know, might as well. <laughs> that was like an execution. Nasty. And assault ship tech has started here as well. There's a lot of heavy railguns. So. And again, they're a bit vulnerable to siege, but you really can just kind of ram this down your opponent's throat, I think. There's actually three idle selves. Oh my gosh. He's just preparing for the future, you know? He's preparing to lose a lot of units, so he's got extra selves ready to replace them. <laughs> like, like, he's fully saturated. He just has, like, three extra salvages that have been built. Yeah, you know, to each their own. Range calibration coming out too. Honestly, you don't even really need that here, but you know, it can be nice to have, I guess. But the 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 better thing I think would be the EMP. Dude, look, he's moving the idle salves over. I think he's gonna do it. He's gonna mine off his opponent's third base. He has to. He has to. But you'd have to build another PC, right? I mean, you just, you just gotta do it. When the opportunity arises like this, you just gotta. That's a lot of rails, by the way. Ten heavy railguns, yeah. If he wants to fight the army, like, he, he wins any time now, you know? We saw this against No Fun, like, this number of heavy railguns was beating Sandskimmers, too. I'm 
you can see what they do. It would be nice to turn on range calibration here. Yeah, it's kind of siege tech, which is, you know, good unit. Especially on college teeth, like I said. And he's building another PC! Yes! This is gonna happen! He's gonna mine off his opponent's base. I'm so happy. I've never been this happy. That's a scanner, I guess. Uh, yeah, because apparently it doesn't do anything. Well, we can look at it later. It's casting time. I see it's on this assumption. It's gonna force him back. Clear the way for the for the third base miners. There's another one though. Yeah, it's on the second. If you didn't know, F3 will cycle the idle cells. So. Oh no 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 no! You can't move your carrier. It's gonna take forever to get here. Oh no. It's so funny looking how the barrage always says it's going somewhere ridiculous. This is gonna kill a heavy relic gun, I think. Yep, that goes one. It's really nice to get rail armor free in these scenarios. Ah, oh, but you'd need a lot of money for that, almost like being on three base eco. Anyway, uh, <laughs> these skims here can help a lot though. It'd be really good to send them over now because these heavy relics are in danger. It's gonna be a bit late on the punch, though. Yeah, if these skins will join the fray, he can kill everything over here, but... Seems like he's not interested. Uh, Siege Cruiser, meanwhile, has gone back over to this side, but there's a lot of heavy railguns over there. Plus, kind of Siege now, so... If I were a Void, I might just send the Con of Siege over to this side because it feels like you really don't want to let your opponent get these two out on accident. I mean, that'd be, you know, 4 out of 5 on the scoreline. That's actually a, a serious win condition, so... And you've got range calibration. You can just use it up on, like, this hill right here. Then you'll have high ground on anyone who tries to exit that area. And as for the skims, I think he still has the upgrade lead, so he can fight this off as well. Boink. Boink. Yeah, I always gotta love the flying skin. Is he taking it? Oh yeah! Oh! I didn't notice that. Just kinda throwing some barrages out here. I think Connor Siege doesn't have the short barrage cooldown like Galzer Siege does. Yeah. It's like more than twice as long, so... Uh, with Kana Siege, you really do want to be a bit more, like, precise with the barrages, but that's okay, he's gonna get some value here. He kills one of the base runners. Base runner really should be healing itself whenever it has just, like, a free moment, too. But the standstill continues. Make no mistake, that's favoring Void Warrior a lot. He's on 3 base. He has been this whole time. Of course, he could be on four base. And now he's hitting the intercept or the salvagers here, but I feel like these interceptors are probably gonna die. Actually, it's just kind of a bit dangerous. Plus, they don't have afterburners. So. Yeah, but sometimes it can be like that, especially for Con F, which doesn't have the scanner. It's very hard to like ascertain the exact power of your force or uh, your opponent's forces. So. Well, I mean, but like I was saying, it, it does really feel like air is the most mechanically intensive thing in DOK, so it's not so easy to not so easy to pull it off. I think even without Afterburner, you can micro that to do some damage to the, to the base. And it can be fairly effective. He really doesn't want to let this extraction out, though. But he's got the carrier here, he can use the missiles. Doesn't have the railguns on this side, though. 
god, that siege cruiser is getting cyber bullied. Oh gosh, the friendly fire. Yeah, this extraction is actually gonna escape. It might cost him a siege cruiser. Oh. Yeah, okay, wow, you actually had it on that volley. I didn't think it was gonna die that fast. And this might be some trouble in paradise here. Yeah, like this uh, this base is gonna be in some danger. So the cell would just have to be pulled off the base there. Uh, this kind of siege is kind of um, unchallenged though, so you know there's definitely still some serious threat here. Uh oh. Uh, yes. Yeah, I mean, if it didn't work last time, it's not gonna work this time either, right? So... <laughs> he gets one salvage, you know? It's not all bad. Gosh, this siege cruiser is gonna die. Jeez. A lot of damage taken by these rails, too. Yeah, <laughs> which is not a compliment, sadly. <laughs> leading the rails over here, too. Oh gosh, look how bunched up these things are. Oh gosh. Okay, it's gonna back away now. This barrage might already kill this case. So yeah, it's gonna go down. Oh. That's been a veteran that picked up for Brando over here. Which apparently does nothing. So, you know. That is really quite sad. <laughs> oh, it does? Okay. Well, good for him, though. This kind of siege cruiser is getting cyber bullied. <laughs> That's a bit painful to watch. <laughs> there we go, I found the angle. These railguns are really getting donked here, you know? The siege is working. A couple more railguns fell on this side. I'm a little hesitant to check the unit's lost tab because I think it's going to be gross. Yeah, that's that's horrifying. This sand skimmer is gonna like kill the siege cruiser just by friendly fire. I thought I was kidding. I might actually be. Oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> this is painful. This is actually hurting my soul. Ten minutes left before the extraction win condition. I mean, like you know, if this game went to timer, I'm just saying like Corsair wins so far. So, Void Warrior does need to get something done. You can see Corsair has thoughts to opening the third base, but not allowed. It's gonna be denied by, uh... It's gonna be denied by Void Warrior. Power 4, but yeah. He does have a lot. Carrier will take some serious damage here, actually, but he's getting uh, a good, nice carrier block. Good, nice. What else is it? A nice carrier block on this, uh, kind of siege cruises. That would kill it. Some trouble over on this side, though. I mean, he's losing salvages over there. Artifact picked up by Voidware, that's good. We keep this guy safe now. Oh! God, get him out of there. <laughs> the unit's lost tab just keeps stacking up, man. This is ridiculous. Main base is mined out. Okay, time to mine from your opponent's third, I'm telling you. <laughs> No, that's actually a pretty serious disadvantage. I mean, Corsair's main base has been destroyed, but it can be it can be refilled, and he'll actually have the eco lead at that point, which is almost ridiculous to say. Oh no, these railguns here are just completely dry. Oh, I can see this falling apart for Cor uh, for Void Warrior, who's just had complete control over this entire game. This would be great if he can kill this siege crew because he needs it. Has the money to tech power five as well. I would do that. I mean, I think you know, 
that's a that's a permanent buff. You know what I mean? Like it'd be nice to have. The Siege Cruiser does fall, so of course we're pretty slow on the trigger there. He doesn't manage to save it. And now it's really just a lot of skins you're facing against. Blast drones? You know, I mean, you've got a lot of CUs. What the heck is this guy doing? Here? I guess it's just a bad rally. Smoke ability would be huge here. Oh, come on, come on, smoke it, smoke it! Ah! Ah! No! Oh, he's gonna lose the extraction so close to the zone. Oh, man. I mean, that one definitely should have gone out. And Siege Cruise is gonna go feed into the carrier here, which is not exactly what you want to see. Skim's having a big brawl here, though, and it looks like the kind of player is winning this one. The Courser has traded positively over this game by, like, a huge margin, actually. I mean, 2,000 CUs is, like, massive, you know? It's almost unbelievable. This extraction will get out. Courser could build- or, sorry, Vorbury could build more base runners if he wants them, but really, Power 5 is a good answer. Oh, he never got the range upgrade for the Siege Cruisers, that would be nice. He's floating a thousand RUs. Oh my gosh. That's a lot of RUs. <laughs> you know? It's like more than two. Again, though, third base not allowed for, uh, for Courser. And this is something Voidware has been very stubborn about. He's not letting his opponent get there. If he loses all these uh, salvagers, that's like a big deal. You want these on the main base. This is the most efficient one to mine from anyway, so... Before you look to third, look to main, you know? Yeah, I tend to agree. But, but Void Warrior still has the option to mine from his opponent's third. He's got to do it. He's got to do it. Cruiser's taking names over here. Gonna kill the base runner as well. This one assault ship, you could actually kill the skins if you wanted. But second extraction goes through. That's that's really good, just even in the school line out here. Very nice carrier block by Corsairs. This is gonna stop the kind of siege cruiser from really getting any shots off right here. But this uh, kind of carrier has a lot of power in it. Looks like he's actually prioritizing the eco right now. You really want to power up the system, though. That'd be, that'd be good. <laughs> Probably just doesn't realize he has all this power because he came from the artifacts. So he's just not out. Oh, kind of siege is shooting again. You really gotta bring these skins in here, though. You can finish off both of these kills if you want them. And power 5 finishes, so you can power up the missiles all the way now. Also, the jump between power 1 and power 2 in the healing is really minimal, so I think it's actually not really worth it to have power 2 in here ever. I didn't realize that until just recently. You can always power up the weapons a bit more as well. Oh, what the- okay, maybe I take it back, the sense is kind of really But I, I reckon if they had jumped earlier, they would have been able to kill it, but they just gave it a bunch of time to re -heal. Void Warrior is still with, frankly, a heinous amount of float here, so... <laughs> oh, I don't really think it's a big problem either, personally. And there's the final hit. Nice shot, Wahara. Weird, weird game. I mean, oh, look at that. He lost 20,000 CUs worth of units. It kind of looked at some point like Voidware was going to lose there, which is really strange, but... You know, Coercer just traded well the entire game, but he never got up onto 3 base. This thing never even was opened. I mean, that's a big deal. That's like a big deal, you know? Uh, it's, it's hard to overstate just how valuable 3 base is in DOK. Anyway, thanks for watching. Let's move on to the next one. Oh, wait a minute. Let's not do that. Uh, I'm going to check on Battle 5. I'll be very careful not to spoil the other groups, but I want to see what the standings are on this group, if we are indeed finished with it. Yeah, we are. So, group D. 
So Cookies has two wins, zero losses. Wait, what? No, this can't be right. Oh, the games haven't been reported yet. Gosh. Okay, I need to, like, report them for them. Has no fun played Coercer? No, he hasn't. But he went 1-1 against both of the other two. Oh, shoot, you know what? It reports it as... Yeah, it reports it as not being won or lost. Because Battlefy is dumb. Yeah. So no fun versus Courser hasn't been played, but Cookies has three... Five points. And Void has... Three points, and no fun... Has two points. Oh my gosh. But he hasn't played against Coercer yet. Jeez, yeah. If he, so if he wins one against Coercer, I think he's already in upper bracket, but... That's kind of crazy. I mean, you don't expect it to get this close. Anyway, I'll end the recording here. We'll move on to the next one.